Well, hello once again, everyone, and thanks for keeping the faith by continuing to browse my vintage off-road race bikes here on my increasingly popular YouTube channel. Now, we're going to continue to look at more British classics in this particular clip by checking out Colin Flockhart's stunning 1968 BSA B44 Shenny Victor. Now these beautiful Shenny BSAs were of course made famous by legendary engineer Eric Shenny who developed these lightweight competition frames back in the 1960s and 70s. Now back in the time when Eric Shaney was developing these frames, these bikes were powered by that uh, superb BSA uh, motor. And uh, at the time Eric Shaney also had the legendary John Banks who was uh, riding uh, these bikes and developing these uh, Shaney's for the racetrack. Now of course Banks would go on to have great success with these uh, Shenny BSAs and uh, in fact John Banks won the British Championship in the 1970s on a similar uh, Shenny BSA machine to our featured bike here. Now of course these Shenny frame kits are all hand built and are all slightly different in their own way depending of course on what type of particular motor you intend to put into the chassis. Now these lovely sculptured BSA B44 motors are of course uh, air-cooled uh, four-stroke single cylinder affairs with a two-valve cylinder head. Now normally these motors are fed their fuel by a 30 millimeter AML concentric carburetor. Now the motors also have a four speed gearbox with the usual uh, normal uh, wet multi plate clutch. Now a dry sump of course on these BSA bikes as uh, the oil for the engine is of course housed in the frame tubes. Now when you order one of these lovely Shenny frame kits from Shenny Racing, uh, you get the frame, the swing arm, the alloy tank, the seat, uh, the alloy side panels, and also you can purchase a full exhaust system for your uh, particular bike, depending on which particular motor you're going to put into the frame. Of course, if you need more information on Shenny Racing, and the services they provide, just uh, check out their website at this address. Now if my memory serves me correctly, these uh, Shenny BSA frames had a pair of Seriani front forks normally fitted to the front end of their bikes and uh, these Italian made Seriani forks were uh, very high quality items and uh, they were very popular fitments and still are very popular fitments for many of these old uh, classic pre-65 racers. Now of course these bikes are not uh, built overnight and can take uh, a bit of a while to construct and uh, Shenny claim that uh, it takes them around 400 man hours to construct a machine from scratch that includes of course building the frame and uh, there's a lot of work that uh, goes in to building these uh, fantastic looking frames. Now these lovely alloy fuel tanks are of course uh, look like a work of art in their own right. Uh, beautifully engineered fuel tanks which are then polished and uh, finished off with one of those uh, Monza style uh, locking uh, fuel caps on the top. But uh, 
very nicely made and uh, highly engineered. Of course, these uh, Sherry Victors have a fantastic, uh, lovely plush seat fitted to their bikes with that uh, Sherry uh, badge emblazoned on the rear of the seat, but uh, a very comfortable seat to sit in on uh, one of these uh, lovely uh, pre-1965 class uh, racers. Now these Shenny BSAs of course had a 19 inch uh, front wheel and this 18 inch rear and it looks like uh, these wheels have been mated to what I think is uh, Gramica brake hubs. They certainly look like Gramica but uh, please don't quote me on that particular point. And there of course you can see the business end of this uh, 1968 Shenny BSE Victor with the sprocket that will soon transmit the power from that big uh, B44 BSA motor. But of course if you would like one of these uh, fancy British Shaney classics for yourself uh, and don't have the time to actually build one from a kit, uh, Shaney will also build you a complete bike ready to ride and race. So uh, just get in touch with uh, shaneyracing.co.uk and uh, discuss your requirements with them. Now, although our particular bike featured here belongs to Scottish classic rider Colin Flockhart, who uh, normally races this bike with the Scottish Classic Motorcycle Racing Club and uh, naturally races it in the pre-1968 class. But for me personally, the thing I love about these old uh, classic bikes is the traditional use of steel and alloy. Uh, no modern, uninteresting plastics on these bikes, just plenty shiny alloy and steel. And there's certainly something about these old classics that definitely have a look and a character that a modern machine could only dream about. Now, of course, when you order one of these frames, you can have it uh, painted in whichever color takes your fancy, or uh, in Colin's case here, uh, either have it uh, nickel plated or uh, even chrome plated. So there you have it, another immaculate British classic. That's uh, Colin Flockhart's uh, 1968 Shenny Victor B44 uh, BSA. So we've had a look at the bike and uh, let's have a sneak preview of what she sounds like. This video was brought to you in association with Wealth Sport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website or give them a call for more details.